Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, I'm at, I'm at Little Red, Little Red's Cottage in Buttercup Cottage in Bluebell Wood, and this is Little Red and Roni and Gina, and we're here in the giant sunflower for the Ukrainian children, and we're all here together, and we send loads and loads of love, and it's hi, girls and boys, mums, dads, aunts and uncles, granny, grandpa. Here we go, Old Red, written and illustrated by Marnie Reynolds Bork. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover. Old Red. Old Red, a well-used tractor, sat in the barn waiting, waiting for someone to repair her and love her again. Poor Old Red. Old Red dreamed of her glory days when the farmer used to used her daily for chores, like harvesting hay at the end of summer, mowing grass and digging fence posts. She, Old Red also remembered pulling trailers of hay to feed animals or pulling kids on farm rides. She once even pulled a trailer for a wedding. <gasps> Old Red. Old Red waited patiently in the barn until the day a young dad came to look at her. Good young dad. He brought Old Red home to his garage and took her apart piece by piece. He cleaned and oiled parts, re repainted some and put her back together. His ha family helped too. And then the day came when Old Red looked new again and she got to perform some new chores like leading the 4th of July parade, being shown in local agricultural fairs and winning first place. Yay! She generated electricity for, for the farm after a storm. Old and ploughed snow from the driveway. Old Red was useful. Old Red loved her new family. Oh, and the family loved Old Red. What a beautiful, beautiful story. And oh, oh will Old Red wait Will Old Red wait forever in a barn or will she be useful again? Well, I think she's useful again. Thank you, Old Red. Fergie and friends, with Fergie and friends.